Hey, Tom Deanhart at Big Ten Championship Game Saturday here in Indianapolis talking to a former Nittany Lion great Tyoka Jackson, former NFL great as well. Tyoka, what do you think Penn State has to do to get in this 14 playoff? Well, I think they got to win today, obviously, but I think they got to win big. You know, I think it's going to be tough because of, I think, the national perception of a team like Michigan. I think, I think the national perception of them is very high. And so Penn State's going to have to dominate to overcome that. Uh, the committee supposedly says that, you know, once there's conference champions, they're going to take into consideration, and I hope they do, uh, because right now this is a huge game. This is a huge game. You got two really good football teams who've beaten teams that sound like they may be into the playoff, and so they should get consideration if you know the winner of this game. And I think it's going to be the team in blue and white. So we'll see what happens. Hey, talk real quick how you think Penn State's win over Ohio State this year helped the Buckeyes probably already wrap up a playoff spot. Yeah, it's crazy to think of it, but if you just think if Penn State had lost that game, Ohio State would be in this game right now and would have to play a tough Wisconsin team to get in, to solidify their position. And you'd have some debate on whether this this game would really be that important for Ohio State. Ohio State would have to come out and beat a good team with the thoughts of the, the, the uh, playoffs on their mind. And so really beating Penn State, if you think about it, it to me made their path easier because they're pretty much in. If you talk to most people, experts think they're in, and they don't have to play a game today. So uh, winning in a really weird way for Penn State, winning actually helped Ohio State solidify their spot, relax, get a little healthier, right, and have to risk their uh, their health to go out and play another game. It's, it's really weird how, how it worked out that way, but listen, Penn State Nation is happy to be playing this game, and we're looking forward to a heck of a football game tonight. Two years under Bill O'Brien, three years under James Franklin. Are you surprised, Tioka, the Nittany Lions are back at the summer of the Big Ten this quickly after all those sanctions? I'm going to be honest, I am a little surprised, yes. Bill O'Brien did a heck of a job of bridging the gap. I mean, it was some of the lowest points of any program in the history of, of the sport uh, has ever gone through. I would say the history of any intercollegiate athletics, and, and I think he did a heck of a job of, of stemming that tide. And I think uh, James Franklin has come in and done a tremendous job. He has instilled confidence, energy into our program. The recruiting is coming back, and you're starting to see that pay dividends now because he's getting the type of players that fit what he does uh, really well into the program, and we're really young. So, yeah, given the youth and how far we've come so quickly, I would think most people would say they're surprised, but I think it's a testament to, to, to Coach Franklin, the energy, and the type of players he's recruited since he's been here. Hey, last question, Tayoka. I have to ask you. Who on this 2016 Nittany Lion team reminds you of Tioka Jackson? Well, that's tough. I mean, I am unique. I mean, you know that, uh, John. But, no, um, you know what? I, number two, you know, I think that, you know, Marcus Allen plays with a lot of energy, a lot of passion. I like to think I play with that sort of passion. He, he's sort of a, a vocal leader on the team. The plays he makes gets the, game, or gets the team fired up. Um, he's a high-energy guy on the sidelines. He's always into the game, even when the offense is playing. That was sort of my style. So his body's a lot better than mine. He's a lot more muscular and better looking kid than me. Plays a different position. But I think we have those similar characteristics. And that's going to really bode well for him tonight, uh, being a leader, an emotional leader tonight. And it's going to bode well for him the rest of his career and on into the NFL. Thank you, Tayoka. My pleasure. Thank you.